people how you doing what's good what's good what's popping welcome to the vlog channel where i tell you guys all my personal intimate details we do story times we do vlogs we do clean with me we do fashion hauls we do all of that stuff so make sure you guys subscribe to this channel i know a lot of you guys be thinking you subscribe do not subscribe i have three channels okay this is the personal one we have the haitian one as well as the main one so for today's video we're gonna be doing a little family drama update okay now i know you guys are probably like yo where have these videos been like you haven't been talking about nothing like what's been going on there hasn't been nothing going on like they, they, there hasn't been i've been having peace finally with the family okay ever since the whole situation happened with whoever stole my mother's money there hasn't been much of anything okay my cousin got married i thought everything was going to be fine i thought he was going to be out of my parents fucking house but clearly that 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 didn't happen okay if you guys would have guessed what would have happened after, you, you probably would have been wrong, but some of you probably would have been right because I was warned that this would have happened. But I was like, you know what? I, I, I chose to see the best in people. And clearly... I should have never done that shit, okay? So, of course, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, smash every button, you know, that can help us out. We are on the road to 10K. Give me the 10K, okay? I don't understand what the fuck y'all doing. A lot of y'all, y'all watching, y'all not subscribing. Let, let's get me there. Let's get me there. So, today, we're going to be talking about how my cousin thinks that he could just cheat on his wife in some way, somehow, thinks that he could just move his wife in with my parents. Yes, you, you guys heard that right. My cousin is in the process of thinking he could just move his wife in with my parents okay so let's just start from the beginning now shall we now my cousin got married in august right this was something that was in the works for years okay years he been said he was gonna get married to this girl wedding got called off then he said he's gonna get married to the girl again wedding got called off then he said he's gonna be like it, it was all these times he was gonna get married and he didn't get married and he finally got married okay um i did vlog the wedding you guys can feel free to go watch it it is on this channel i will link it down below if i don't remember i'm sure if you just type in any of more wedding it shall pop up it was nice or whatever the case may be it, it was a ghetto mess though for those of you guys on the patreon i did talk about the whole situation from start to finish it was a ghetto mess right um however there was nothing really going on but i knew that him getting married was just a waste of fucking time because it wasn't even more than a month later that my dad was complaining that this man was a dirty fucking dog y'all so apparently he brought another woman to the house and <laughs> my dad was there to witness it let's just stop right here and let's just talk about the wife and her characteristics and her personality and we have to give her a name we just gonna call her the mime because that's what the fuck she is she's a mime now let me just say i'm very cool with his wife um in terms of like i have no issues with her i think she's a cool person i think she's a nice person however i feel like her getting married to him was literally probably one of the worst things she could have did for herself and to be honest with you with all of the shit that is going on right now it's so sad that i'm probably gonna have to drag her and if you guys stay to the end you you guys are gonna understand everything that's going on right now everything that i'm saying and it's just oh my god let me just okay so the mine okay mine okay mine is a very very quiet woman okay she's very very quiet she's very reserved she's very to herself but at the same time this to many haitian people could come off very disrespectful not the fact that she's very quiet reserved and shy but the fact that because she's so very quiet shy and reserved means that she doesn't say hi to no one she doesn't regard anyone she comes into the room and she just goes about her business and every haitian person knows that is literally one of the most disrespectful one of the worst things you can ever do when you come into a room you say hi when you see people you say hi like this is like you never come into a room like everybody knows this though this is not even just a haitian thing like you see people especially if you're not the first one there you see other people there you say hi i kid y'all not y'all i did not know what my cousin's woman looked like until they were getting married i am not lying they've been dating since he came to america like literally six years ago or whatever the case may be i did not know what she looked like i never seen her 
There's been times she's been in the house and I've been in the house. I never seen her because every single time she comes there, she literally stays in the room. She hides in the room. She literally don't say hi to nobody. She don't come out. She if she has to go to the bathroom, she'll literally hide until like she knows the coast is clear and listen i know some people have anxiety i know some people are really really shy and reserved but you can't do shit like that when you're in other people's homes especially when you know you're part of a foreign culture that frowns upon that and will find behavior like that to be extremely disrespectful now the same way how this girl is all quiet reserved shy and is afraid of people like people would probably describe it she has a very vile disrespectful side right there was one time i was having a conversation with my cousin and essentially my cousin was supposed to be with her but couldn't be with her for some sort of reason and i opted to drop my cousin wherever he was going to be instead of being with her i don't know what it was but they had plans he couldn't make it and i was like oh i'll drop you wherever and he was on the phone with her when i'm telling you this girl cursed him out and then basically insinuated that i was having incest with my cousin like went off go have fun with your cousin then fuck you and your cousin da -da 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 -da. have fun with your cousin like very vile so it's like you 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 for someone that acts like they don't have a voice for someone that acts like a mind you sure do know how to fucking talk you know you you sure do have a voice and this is not the first time mind you she's had different people in the family like even though she doesn't really associate with me as much she's associated with other people in my family a lot of different times she's had a lot of interactions with other people in my family like a a lot and they they've seen how vile she can get she curses people out a lot so since she curses people out a lot like they've seen how she can like curse people out they've seen how she curses him out a lot you know like it's 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 a constant thing he's a horrible person like my cousin i'm not gonna lie he's a horrible person he be going like he, he be doing fucked up shit to her but what i'm trying to get at is she she be playing this whole oh no, 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 i'm scared running the room but she be having that like vile and i'm not talking about like bitch fuck you leave me alone no vile vile like vile like i vile guys like you can't do nothing but like sit there with your mouth wide open vile so like i kid you not the only reason i didn't curse her out that night was because that was literally my first interaction with her and i was probably just in shock and it was also because i was like tell that bitch to meet me like i literally literally after my cousin hung up on her because he was like okay yeah that's enough after my cousin hung up on her that day and she would try to literally say that i was like fucking my cousin practically i was like all right um next time that bitch try to come at me like that tell her to come see me like tell her to come say all that shit to my face like literally she was just like oh have fun with your cousin i bet you fucking your cousin like literally after that i was like all right yeah i don't care for this bitch but i let the water go under the bridge once they were getting married and all of that i was like you know what? i ain't gonna address that with her i ain't gonna say nothing to her because clearly whatever she's clearly mad but then when everybody else in the family started telling me like nah that's just how she is she's just a vile person she has a nasty mouth she has a potty mouth that's just how she is but then it's like the way she had that potty mouth clearly didn't go with accordance of this whole meek quiet shy person that everybody else trying to tell me she is or how what i've seen and observed how she just be hiding out like that so that's definitely something to keep in mind so when i saw that they were getting married and i finally you know went to the wedding whatever i built a little relationship with her like you know i saw she was actually really cool i was like oh you know she's not rude or anything like that i, I realized okay maybe she's just really shy but i thought that when they got married she would kind of stop that shit you know and i also thought that along with her shy behavior my cousin would essentially stop acting like a fucking fuck boy you know i thought he would stop going out as much i thought he would stop having all of these women because at the end of the day my cousin has always had numerous women all right he's always had the propensity to go out numerous times always did fuck boy shit okay he's always been a fuck boy he's always had numerous women he, he's always done that so i thought okay when we get married all of this is gonna stop she's gonna finally start saying hi to people she's gonna stop hiding in the room and he's gonna stop being a man whore um clearly none of this stopped all right so we have to give my cousin a name we're gonna name my cousin ricardo yeah we're just gonna call him ricardo so we have mine and ricardo so literally a month later after my cousin gets married apparently um my mom who has not talked to my cousin in literally more than a year now 
literally like they don't say hi to each other i already spoke to you guys about this okay i've said this a couple times in my blogs they do not associate like my y'all know how haitians are when they beef they beef okay ain't no baby beef they do not associate they don't even look at each other they do not like they, they don't fuck with each other okay my mother literally said that she was like you know in sleep but like kind of waking up a little bit and she heard someone talking to my dad in the kitchen saying bonjour or bonsoir like literally like greeting him and it was nice and loud with enthusiasm and this is the thing what did i just tell y'all mine don't talk she just comes in she sneaks in she makes sure nobody's in her path so she can do whatever it is that she gotta do she don't eat she don't go to the bathroom she don't do nothing and if she does any of those things she makes sure nobody there so my mom's like the fuck like who the hell is, is saying hi so so nice and enthusiastic so when my mom finally like fully woke up she went to go ask my dad like hey yo who's that saying hi to you in such a nice vibrant tone like that my dad went off you see you got all these vagabonds we'll get through the your nephew is such a vagabond he's such a vagabond he is still doing all of his antics how he just get married and he already bringing a girl up in his house so my mom telling me this shit and i'm like you're lying why the fuck he invite me to this wedding if he wasn't gonna be serious about being married I'm the, I don't understand. First of all, can we just talk about how I made my own iced coffee? I'm like an iced coffee addict now. So I'm like, if I would, I don't believe you. And my mom's like, no. He had another girl in his house. It was not his wife. Your dad is the only one that's friends with him in his house. Literally, my dad is the only one that's friends with him in his house. He brought a whole nother girl there, described the girl to me, everything. My mom said that she saw the girl, described what the girl looked like, everything. I was like, wait, what? And they, they, they was romantic looking. And my dad literally looked at her up and down and I guess um, my cousin Ricardo was just like, he probably felt embarrassed and clearly felt some type of way and clearly, you know, yeah, because what the fuck are you doing? And I guess he rushed out with her and yeah. So I was like, all right, now clearly my dad feels some type of way. From what I understand, he has brought other women there after that and I'm just like, that's wild wild that's messed up that's ridiculous but it gets worse right so now maybe months later now we're in october i come over to my parents house i don't know just for something i just came over there for for some other shit and i finally catch her over there kid y'all not like literally she's been coming over there every weekend since they've been married even before they were married she would come over there um every weekend sometimes she would skip some weekends but since they've been married she's been there every single weekend and she would always be like oh why is it that i never see ivana ivana's never here well ivana has her own apartment and you should have your own apartment too because you're married now i know a lot of you guys are probably like thinking like how the fuck did this man literally over the age of 40 because that's another thing you guys are always asking me in the comments like how old is your cousin my cousin is literally over the age of 40 okay how is it that your cousin is over the age of 40 and still live with your parents not only is he over the age of 40 but why is he over the age of 40 and just got married and still lives with your parents makes no sense this why is he married to a woman half his age but then they both live in two separate households. Make it make sense, right? I just happened to be over there and my mom hinted at me like, oh, she's in there. Like, oh, she's, you know, go check like she's in there. I was like, oh, that's interesting. First time I'm catching her. Like, I haven't seen her since the wedding. Mind you, they got married in August. Now we're in October. So I knock on the door. She's like, hey. I was like, hey, girl. Da -da. We start chopping it up or whatever. She's like, I never see you. I was like, yeah, I, I live in my own apartment. I don't live here. I live like 20 minutes away. I live in a whole other town. And she's like, yeah, but like, you know, you can still come over. I said, yeah, I do. But when I'm here, you're not here. Like, you come over weekends. Like, weekends are my chill day. Like, I'm never here on weekends. Like, I do not care to be here on weekends whatsoever. Like, very rare for you to catch me here on a weekend. Just like laughing, chopping it up, whatever. I was like, oh, so where's Ricardo? Oh, Ricardo, I haven't seen him since 7 o'clock in the morning. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Oh, so I was with him earlier this morning around 7 a.m. He said he was going to park the car around 7.30 a.m. And he never came back. Comment down below. If you had a boyfriend, but he had a husband, and you were with him, and he literally came upstairs with you, and he said, be right back. I'm going to go park the car. And he didn't come back. Guys, can y'all guess what time it was that I pulled up? It's literally like, but I come down below. Can you guys guess what time it was that I pulled up? It wasn't 12 p.m. It wasn't 2 p.m. It wasn't even 3 p.m. It was fucking 5.30 p.m. You literally fucking 
kidding me right now? I looked at her and I'm like, you're joking, right? She's like, no. I was like, did you call him? Yeah. What did he say? He said he was coming. What do you, like, yo, she's just so calm about this. I'm like, he said he was coming and he didn't come. No, he didn't come. I'm like, when's the last time you spoke to him? Well, around 12, he asked me what I wanted to eat. And you know, he still hasn't brought me the food. So you've been sitting here hungry since seven o'clock in the morning, it's 5.30. At this point, I'm just like, wait. I said to her, I was like, and you're, you haven't ate, he hasn't brought you the food? No. I was like, Wait, wait, wait. So he left you and said he went to go park, never came back, and then he called you and said, what did you want to eat and didn't bring you the food to eat? So you haven't ate? No. You didn't go out there to eat. There's plenty of food out there to eat. No. See, y'all want to sit here, perpetuate this little soft girl life shit? She's actually a soft girl. Like, that's li like that's her. Like, she's literally soft. Like, that, that that's her personality. Y'all want to literally act like y'all soft to get a man this is what your life gonna be oh my god i was ready to beat the bricks off my cousin bro how dare you you not you you not gonna say nothing you not gonna do nothing you not gonna you not you we, we we just gonna sit here what am i supposed to do if i say something to him he's just gonna keep doing it nigga what i was ready to fight I was ready to fight. If y'all know anything about me, if y'all been watching me for years, y'all already know I'm the people's pit bull. I say that all the time. I'm the people's pit bull. I'm a pit bull. I don't like people being mistreated. I don't like people being bullied. I don't like that type of shit. Don't do that type of shit in front of me. I don't give a fuck if I like the person or not. I don't give a fuck if they're my friend or not. Do not disrespect people in front of me. This is your wife. You had me come to the fucking wedding, and this is how you treat her. Now I understand why when people go to people's weddings, they feel some type of way when that person is being mistreated. Because, nigga, what? Nigga, who? Like, how you gonna lead us? girl here hungry since 7 30 in the morning she hasn't ate now to be honest though i have to play devil's advocate she could have went out there and ate some fucking food my mother had hella food out there she had hella food out there she could have easily went out there to go eat I i'm not even gonna lie she really could have but it's just like it's the gall for me it's the nerve gall and audacity for me that you even had the nerve to treat her this way this is somebody's daughter this is somebody's daughter like no so at this point i'm calling him he picks up my phone call though Sake la cause. what's going on cuz what's going on is you left your wife here since seven o'clock in the morning and you said you were going to go park where are you oh eh, uh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, eh, ooh, uh, you are the love of my life nigga but nigga where the fuck are you oh uh i'm close that's not what i asked you I don't believe that's what I asked you. I said, where are you? Where art thou? Where art thou, motherfucker? Ow? Where art thou? Uh, you know, I'm, um, mm. I didn't want to answer. Mind you, I hear hella noise in the background. I hear mad shit in the background. At this point, I know where he's at. He's at Jefferson Park. He is Jouer Bolet. In other words, he is gambling. Okay, la Jouer Bolet. La Jouer Jouet. He's sous tabzo. Oh, I'm way to play park I'm by the park. So I'm like, all right, when you coming? Oh, I'll be there in about 45 minutes. Because I, I, I'm getting my clip ready. I'm loading the clip, okay? I have my gun, I have my machete. I'm ha I have all of my shit in my head. Because again, like I told you, I don't, I don't like that type of shit. You're not about to be sitting here mistreating this woman in front of us. Like at this point, now I go tell my mom what happened. See, this is where I should have, this is where I fucked up. I should have never did that because my mother doesn't know how to shut the fuck up. So I, I came out the room, I told her, I was like, yeah, so I called him, he said he should be here in 45 minutes. I go and I tell my mom what happened, and my mom starts talking the way she talked. My mother is worse than me. See, this is the thing, I don't do the roar, I don't do all of that. See, I'll do that roar for y'all, because like, you know, I let it simmer and I get mad after the fact, but in these situations, I'm not really yelling, unless I told you guys I'm yelling, right? Like, I was just like, I was very calm, but I'm very firm. That's the thing, like, I have a very firm voice and I have a very, like, don't fuck with me type of attitude and don't fuck with me type of voice, right? I'm a very, like, where are you? What is going on? Like, but I'm not, but the, that's my mom. My mom is, that's my mother. 
So that's what my mom's doing. He's such a vagabond. He left this girl here since seven o'clock in the morning. How dare he? Why did you marry her then? Why would you bring it? Yeah, going off. And I'm just like, you keep on fucking around. I'm gonna get my gun. I should have never told her because she just would not shut the fuck up. And I was like, damn, like she kind of told me this. And I didn't want you to start running your mouth like that. Now you're making the situation bigger than it needs to be. And then now my dad chiming in. Oh, yo, I made no business, yo. Oh, they didn't put you in their business. Like, sir, that has nothing to do with anything. And that's besides the point. The point is, this is disrespectful. And if they didn't want nobody in their business, he needs to go get his own apartment and do his fuck shit under his own roof. And on top of that, this is somebody's daughter. And this is like insanely fucked up. And this falls back on y'all. Because Haitians like to do this fuck shit. And foreign people, not even everybody loves to do this fuck shit with their daughters where their daughters get married their daughters get mistreated and then they come to the family of the son's house and try to act like the son did this that and the third which in this case if her family did show up to my parents doorstep they would be a hundred percent justified this is extremely disrespectful so at this point i'm like hmm. I'm just waiting for him. Cause I'm like, I would love to have some words with him. Cause I would love to understand why he would leave her here since seven o'clock in the morning. Now, after 45 minutes pass, I'm thinking, okay, my cousin's gonna show up. Didn't show up after 45 minutes. My cousin didn't show up after an hour. My cousin didn't show up after two hours. I sat there and waited and waited and waited. He didn't show up. I called him back. He didn't pick up the phone. At this point, I started getting fucking upset. So I'm like, you know what? I decided that I'm gonna get back into my 2022 mindset. I've always been the type of person to be like, you're not gonna disrespect other people in my presence. But then I sat there and I said, you know what? That girl don't give a fuck. She's not going to defend herself. Why the fuck should I defend her? So I let it go. I swear to God, y'all. I said, why am I gonna sit here and defend this girl? She clearly don't care that this man is disrespecting her so why should i so i let it go i'm not about to sit here and rally for you because you don't seem to care you're not really like too upset like she was upset and she was frustrated but she wasn't necessarily like as upset as me or my mother so i was like i don't give a fuck i'm not saying anything I, whatever when he gets here he gets here maybe i'll say some words with him eventually but who cares and i was also more so upset that he was supposed to do something for me so i had got a day bed for my um aunt that was supposed to come from haiti but she couldn't come anymore because of all the situations that's going on in haiti right now i just talked about that on my haitian channel so feel free to check that out um i'll link those down below if if i forget just go check out my haitian channel they are there and what was also very concerning was the fact that she does live in Brooklyn and she was trying to get back home that same night and it was starting to get very dark at this point it was seven o'clock it got dark a little later at the time the time didn't change yet and she told me she was like I don't want to leave because if I if I leave he's gonna go around talking as if I'm a bad person when in actuality he's the one that left me here since 7 a.m so I don't want to you know sound or feel like a bad person if I just you know up and leave and go take the train and I'm just like yeah this is ghetto like so he's gonna gaslight you when he's the one that no I said girl bye I was like do what you want <laughs> I didn't know what to say to her at this point. And I was like, yup, I could tell this is about to be a saga. This is about to be a saga. This is gonna be a saga of fucking bullshit. Because why is it that he's trying to make you feel bad about going home when he's the one that left you here? Make it make sense. Can't make me feel bad when you left me here. I ain't gonna feel bad at all. All right, so if you guys are probably wondering when he finally showed up, my boy finally showed up at legit nine o'clock. They ended up in Brooklyn at 11 o'clock. So yeah, husband of the year, right? To be honest, I don't know why women stay with men like this. If you're ever in a relation with somebody like this, someone that like literally abuses you this way or disrespects you this way, don't let them do that, okay? <laughs> Just don't. It's, it's disrespectful, it's unnecessary, and most importantly, you deserve better. You deserve to be treated like a queen, and most importantly, no one deserves your tears because I know that girl be crying. I know she did. I know she be crying. I know that she be going through it. And I know that nobody cares. The most I can do is just speak up in terms of calling him out because that's my cousin. But it's like, niggas know I already don't like his ass. And niggas know that I genuinely don't, you know, condone what the fuck he does. But it's like, for those of you guys out there that's in a similar situation, understand that you don't have to tolerate a nigga's behavior just because you think, oh, well, I, I have to allow this because, you know, I need a boyfriend or I need a man or I need a husband. No, you don't. 
You really don't. Especially if having a boyfriend, having a husband, or being with someone means that you have to allow bullshit. Y'all need to stop just being with people that treat you like trash because, oh, I need a boyfriend. I need a husband. Oh, my time's running out. I need kids. No, you don't. You really don't. Especially if it means suffering. Speak up for yourself. I don't care what your demeanor is. I don't care what your personality type is. Whether you're a quiet person or you're an outspoken person, stop letting people treat you like garbage. So that's just the beginning because it gets worse. So just to give you guys a quick little preface because we gonna have parts two and three right here. Not only is he clearly already started cheating on this girl and leaving her out for dead at my parents' house, now he's trying to move her into my parents' house and I'm not fucking having it. All day I've been talking to my mother and we're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Even my dad is trying to figure out what's going on but I think my dad knows more than us because my dad is clearly friends with my cousin more than my mother and I are so it's it's been a constant what the fuck right now and we're trying to see what's going on because somebody's lying here all right so make sure you guys stick around for parts two and three because this is gonna get ridiculous okay it's gonna get ridiculous I'm about to head into work. We just gotta find some parking. Make sure you guys are like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Do all that, and I'ma see y'all.